For 55 Kelloland kids, the saying, the world's a stage, is all too true. A group of students from across the state traveled to Taiwan this month, acting, singing, and dancing for other students overseas. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Jolene Letcher gives us a sneak peek of the performance by the ambassadors and has the story of their excellent adventure. There's no business like show business. And the ambassadors work to put on a show at the end where we sing and we dance. But for these Kelloland kids, their business is happening thousands of miles from home. The main reason why we were over there was to perform for the high schools there. This group of high school freshmen, sophomores, and juniors call themselves the South Dakota Ambassadors of Excellence. We went to Taiwan through a gifted camp called the South Dakota Governor's Camp. It wasn't being away from home and missing the South Dakota winter weather that shocked the students so much. It was their change in status into instant celebrity. They had bands playing as we were coming in and all the kids would be standing there and looking at us and screaming and waving. But fame isn't a foreign idea for these thespians. But, you know, after a while, we kind of got used to it. For each performance, presents. And the school would give us presents. We got scarves some places and good luck charms. And as celebrities, they made time to mingle with government leaders. But it was a, it was for us a big honor being able to tell people that, yes, I get to meet the mayor of Taipei. It wasn't all work and no play. Students also spent part of the two weeks touring. We went to a lot of museums and Buddhist temples, and we got to see kind of all the national like art and stuff like that. To better understand the culture, ambassadors lived with host families. They learned language, customs, and cultural differences, sometimes the hard way. Her grandmother yelled at me a lot in Chinese because I wouldn't wear slippers in the house. A lot of the families have a big temple kind of praying area in their house. Despite the differences, there were still some signs of home. It's actually very westernized. They have a lot of things that we do. But the hardest part? Having to say goodbye to their host families. I became pretty good friends with them, so I miss them already. But thanks to technology, students say they'll stay in touch. Well, I've gotten a few emails, yeah. And even though the show ends... Wow, this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. The memories for these ambassadors will go on. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Jolene Letcher. This is the seventh international trip for the ambassadors.